Hey everybody, it's Catherine with the CX Foundation and welcome back to part three of our AI Orchestration Masterclass. If you're just joining us, in part one, we review the basics of AI orchestration. And in part two, we dive a little bit deeper into the technicalities of how AI orchestration actually works. So both parts are available in the video description. And please make sure you subscribe to our channel as well while you're here. Today in part three, we'll talk about how to create a successful AI orchestration strategy. And we'll also cover best practices for continued optimization, as well as the biggest benefits AI orchestration offers your business. So what does successful AI orchestration look like? Remember that the goal of AI orchestration is to create an environment where all of the AI powered tools in your business's tech stack work together to resolve problems or accomplish tasks without the need for human intervention, AKA autonomously. With AI orchestration, all of your AI applications and systems are fully integrated within one single ecosystem. So they don't just take an action, they collaborate with each other, they talk amongst themselves to determine what the best course of action is according to your business goals, and then they autonomously take that best course of action in real time. What are the benefits of AI orchestration? AI orchestration automates entire workflows. It resolves customer problems faster. It takes a huge burden off your employees and it gives you greater context and insight into the customer experience you're currently providing. So it's kind of like you have an AI personal assistant that not only knows everything about your business and customers, but uses that knowledge to develop the best possible plan to achieve your business goals. And then it puts that into action and it does all of that while you and your staff are attending a Coldplay concert, perhaps. Oh, Technically, AI orchestration eliminates data silos across your applications and your communication channels. It's going to reduce redundancies, enable multimodal solutions, give you visibility into AI application performance and usage. And usually it's gonna help save you money because it's gonna slim down your tech stack. So it makes AI solutions and models easier to scale and it strengthens security, compliance, and governance strategies. In terms of dollars and cents, revenue and operating costs, everybody's favorite thing, AI orchestration allows you to achieve faster time to value in your AI investments. How? Because it automates the deployment, training, and integration phases of AI adoption. It improves overall efficiency by completely automating those really routine, kind of low-hanging fruit business processes from start to finish, right? Not just part of a business process, the entire thing. That means shorter time to resolution, lower risk for costly errors, and optimized business resources, especially through things like smart workforce management and better agent allocation. On the customer experience side, AI orchestration ensures seamless omni-channel communication so your customers don't have to repeat themselves because everybody hates doing that. So it offers automated support and services from virtual agents that number one, actually work and resolve the issue. And number two, provide a highly tailored, hyper-personalized experience to each and every customer. It's gonna create a collaborative relationship between your human and virtual agents. And this means that your customers get an experience that's fast, that's reliable, that's proactive, that's convenient, and most of all, that's empathetic. They're gonna feel like they're really talking to an actual person. There are also major benefits to your employees. AI orchestration means that all of your agents have in-conversation access to every piece of data or knowledge base information that they need. And they're also getting 
automated next best action suggestions. So they're not going to need to manually look up data in your knowledge base or search for CRM data across 10 different applications. That's going to save them time and a whole lot of frustration. And that's the kind of thing that's going to keep your agent burnout rate low and help you to reduce your agent turnover rate as well. AI orchestration also automatically monitors agent performance across all different channels and interaction. It gives you insight into 100% of customer agent interactions. And this is really going to help your agents strengthen their skill set. And it'll also help you identify your top performers. It's really great for providing individualized feedback at scale. Now we're going to talk about how you actually create that AI orchestration strategy. I promise it's easier than you think, and it's only five steps. Step one, define your business goals and prioritize use cases for AI. First, you're going to determine what it is that you're trying to get out of your AI orchestration strategy and think about how AI orchestration will help you achieve your overall business goals. And this is great because it prevents that kind of tech first mindset and ensures internal alignment as well. Once you've clarified your business goals, start to consider specific, relevant, and pretty easy AI use cases. That could be things like automated e-commerce personalization, omni-channel virtual support agents, or even dynamic workforce planning. Step two, streamline systems and consolidate your tech stack. Next, you're going to audit all of your existing legacy systems, your data flows, and applications to identify redundancies, monitor inoperability, and look at usage trends. You can use APIs and orchestration platforms to do this for you. And you're going to integrate everything into one collaborative AI-powered system. So everything that you need is in one place. Step three, establish governance, risk management, and controls. You need to create policies, guardrails, and monitoring frameworks that ensure a compliant, secure, and responsible approach to AI. Form a cross-functional governance council that helps you define compliance standards, create an AI governance policy, and set those protocols for monitoring and escalation. This should include things like audit logging, AI bias and fairness checks, data retention and privacy strategies, approval workflows, and model monitoring. Step four, deploy those pilot projects and expand at scale. You need to start with small, high impact pilot projects when you first begin that AI orchestration process. Think about things like agile development, feedback loops, and adaptability. Then scale proven workflows only and prioritize reusable AI orchestration components like templates or connectors. Capture and monitor analytics, refine, and then gradually expand. So this kind of tiered approach helps to prevent those big bang AI rollouts that are kind of destined to fail. And successful pilot projects also help keep that orchestration momentum going, right? People can see the buy-in for themselves, so they want to keep pushing forward. Step five, monitor and continually optimize. You need to treat your orchestration process as a living and breathing system that you continuously measure, learn from, and improve. This means collect KPIs like time to deployment, reusability rate, adoption metrics, monitor the latency, and even check out your use case deployment rates. And that's in addition to the standard business KPIs that we all know and love, like NPS, customer effort score, CSAT, you know what I'm talking about. Also, make sure you run plenty of A-B tests, periodically review results with stakeholders, and go ahead and automate alerts for things like cost anomalies or drifts in model performance. Now let's talk about some of the best practices for ongoing AI orchestration success. Remember, successful AI orchestration is built on one thing, consistency. So you're going to maintain and re-optimize it over time. 
This means holding cross-functional reviews to reassess your AI orchestration plan's goal and strategic alignment. Continuously compare orchestration ROI and operational efficiency against some of those industry benchmarks. Rotate out underperforming or redundant models and keep orchestration assets like APIs, workflows, or pipelines documented and updated. Also, make sure you regularly update all of those AI governance policies and your compliance rules, because as we've seen, AI ethics is constantly evolving and regulations surrounding AI are constantly in flux as well. Above all, make sure to continuously train and upskill your employees when it comes to AI systems and applications. You wanna make sure they know how to use them and why they should. Because clarifying how your AI tools actually benefit your employees is what helps you maintain those high adoption rates. Remember, AI adoption should start at the top. So for all my executives and managers out there watching this, you need to lead by example. If you're not making AI a regular part of your daily workflow, you can't realistically expect your employees to do the same. So that's it for this installment of our three-part AI orchestration series. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. And once again, all of the videos in this series are linked in the description box below. I'm Catherine from the CX Foundation. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.